Hi there everyone, welcome back to Omar's Bot. So today I will show you how you can get eSign on your iOS device. Now this is using a new hub and a new DNS. So I will be deleting my eSign first up. Now simply guys open the link in the description and then simply hit on the coin VN DNS. Now hit on allow and then open your settings. Then go to VPN and device management and over here you want to install the, the coin profile. I hit on install and then install once again. Now once that's done you will see this little uh, bookmark pop up. Now go back to the same here website and then hit on sign. Here hit on the e sign signed. If that one doesn't work, you simply hit on the ones down below. Let's see. Yeah, you can use any one of these. We'll use Avex Digital. I hit it on install and then it should begin installing on your home screen. If not, just go back and then hit on it again. And it should begin installing. And as you guys can see, eSign has been installed. Now it will show this. Simply open settings once again. And then you will see this enterprise apps and then the AVEX digital. And then simply trust it. Now once you have hit trust, then simply um, hit allow and reset your device. So let's do that real quick. Okay, so now you guys can see that eSign has successfully been installed and it is opening properly so i do know that some of you your eSign gives a bit of an error where it crashes it might be that your device has been blacklisted more on that later but now let me show you how you can get a certificate for this so head back to the same website and go to signers and then scroll down like way down and then you will see the coid vn eSign search download the zip folder now you can extract it uh, from the downloads but I recommend that you actually uh, unzip it from eSign because then it's easier to import. So yeah, just uh, import the zip folder and I'll simply unzip it and then now, now open the... Now here you can choose any one but make sure to import the mobile provision file as well as the p12 file. Now for the p12 file, first uh, you have to copy the password or you can just type in the password, it is capital letters WSF and now simply paste the password once you import the p12 file. And now guys a certificate has been added to your eSign as well, as you guys can see it has been added. So yeah guys, more on the why it could be crashing, well I am not sure but I believe that it indicates that your device has been blacklisted. So I will have a video linked on how to fix that in the description below. As always guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do leave a like and subscribe. We are almost at 4000 subscribers so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for everything guys. Hope you enjoyed this and it works for you guys.